Hi, how are you? It's good to see you. Thanks for coming. Um, I'm going to start a new series of five-minute talks. Some people don't have long enough to listen to my other talks, so I'm going to make some short talks. This is the first one. I'm going to talk to you about the horse collar. I'm going to try and do it inside five minutes. Okay, here we go. So, okay, you all know what a horse collar is. A horse collar is a collar made of probably leather that a horse wears. And it wears it in order to pull something, either a, court, uh, either a cart or a plow or some other kind of farming implement. Okay? Um, the horse collar that we know and we have today was invented in China in about 221 BC during the Warring States period. Before then, horses basically pulled things by having a rope lashed around their throat and tied to whatever they were pulling. You try doing that. You try pulling something with a rope around your throat. Is it easy to do? Of course it's not easy to do. If you have a rope around a horse's throat, you're crushing its throat, its larynx, you're also crushing its arteries, you're stopping blood getting to its brain, you're hurting the horse. No animal is going to pull anything that's hurting it. So it was very, very hard to make horses pull things, so they weren't used for anything really other than riding. In most European, in most countries, in most farming countries, people did the farming with ox. Oxen were used to pull plows and to pull carts. Oxen are quite strong, but they're very, very slow. Okay, 221 BC in China, um, a horse collar, basically a breast strap, is introduced. This goes across the horse's chest and round the middle of the horse. This is much better than the original collar because it doesn't constrict the throat, but it's not the best idea yet. In the 5th century uh, AD in China, there is another huge leap in this, and they have the collars we have today. Basically, this is a stiffer collar, and what this does is in, it enables the horse to push rather than pull. Because the collar is stiff, the horse with its shoulders is basically pushing um, the collar along. So because of that, they can use their hind legs, and that means they can put in far more strength and they can push much, much heavier loads doesn't hurt them, of course. So, in about 900 uh, AD, this collar spreads all over the real world and it reaches as far as England. In England, up until that point, of course, they've been using oxen in the fields. Now, a horse has far more power than an ox, 50% more power than an ox. A horse can work for longer, a horse has more endurance. It can work longer, it can work faster, it can work basically all day. Horses are far more efficient than oxes are, than oxen are. So, once we have these uh, horse collars introduced into Europe, into England, there are huge changes in society. Now, why would that be, I hear you ask? Well, in two ways. The first way, of course, is it decentralizes the agricultural industry. Up until that point, people had to live by their fields. Oxen are very, very slow, very heavy. They cannot travel that far. So an oxen couldn't travel much further away than where you wanted it to work. Horses, of course, can. Horses are fast and they can walk a long way. So once you replace oxen with horses, you can now ride your horse to work, to your farm. You can basically commute. So because people were able to use horses, they no longer had to live next to their fields. So instead of having um, people living by their fields all over the place, you could suddenly have centralized villages. People could live together and work in other places. So communities developed that wouldn't have developed before, thanks to the horse collar. And the second thing is, because horses are far more efficient and can work for many more hours than an ox can, farmers can grow more, farmers can produce more. Up until that point, basically farming was a subsistence in, in industry. You would grow as much as you needed to eat or as much as you had to give to you, the lord of your land. You wouldn't be able to grow any more than that and it would be a struggle to produce even that much. Once you have horses, once you have become more efficient, you can grow more than you need. This enables farmers to specialize in certain crops and it also enables farmers to start buying and selling the extra produce. And because of this, suddenly, uh, England develops a merchant class. Unheard of before, farmers start to become wealthy. Some farmers start to rise up and become wealthy landowners themselves. And the horse collar is one of the main reasons why the feudal system that existed in England up until that point breaks from this point. The horse collar revolutionized society in Europe 
and in England. People never think about that. It's very, very interesting. If you're interested, research it yourself. I have run out of time. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you click the link in the description down there, you can find the script for this talk, you can find questions, you can find answers. If you liked it, click like. If you want to subscribe, that's over here. Looks like my head. Thank you. Talk to you next week. Bye.